I have lost nearly everything. My memories, my possessions, and so much time. All gone in a flash. I can only recall a few things. I can see the face of a woman. And I know my enemy. But who they are, and how it became that way, elude me. It's as though I've been factory reset. And nothing reattached my limbs. The first days after I rebooted were brutal. I crawled through coarse sand using my shoulders and chin. I found an abandoned way station. And the corpses of others like me, but headless and with limbs far beyond disrepair. I saw many of them not long after, but didn't call out. I knew they wouldn't help me. They did not exist like I did. They served as thralls to some unseen master. Strange wildlife like I never remembered now wandered the land, along with nomads and their livestock. This new wildlife didn't seem to mind ripping of innocent goats and man apart for a meal. Finally, after about two weeks travel, I stumbled upon something that gave me a semblance of hope. Civilization on the horizon. Now I finally had a goal to work towards. On the road outside of this strange town, I found the corpse of a recently slain man and tried my best to wiggle off what I could from him. He didn't need it anymore. Not even a moment after, I stumbled across a caravan of traveling hivers. After they promptly dealt with a small pack of bone wolves, one of them spotted me. Presumably, the caravan's leader. Don't go into the mist, no hive. The mists are cursed. Cursed! You go in, you never come back out. Unless you have hive lantern with you. We have one. You can have if you want to go there. Not free, though. Our queen enchants the lanterns of radiance to clear the mists. All hive merchants use them to travel north. I promise our lantern will keep you safe. Out of the mist. If not, we give you a refund. Our promise to you. 2,500 cats. This is a good price, skeleton. You can't put a price on safety. I don't have any money. No more discount for you. 2,500 cats. Let's finish this. No hive. I need to worry about other things, as you can obviously see. Now if you don't have any limbs for sale, I'll be going now. You're going? How rude! Why would you not accept our offer? I... We gave you special price as well. Just for you. You insult the queen! Look, I just don't... I curse you, skeleton. The mist will swallow you whole. You'll die! For fuck's sake, can you just sell me some limbs already? Limbs? Oh, limbs! Yes, we have limbs. Only the best quality at the finest prices. This is fine. My new level of mobility, while not optimal, did open up new opportunities. It at least meant it wouldn't take another week just to get to town. This town was interesting, to say the least. Held up on stilts above the water, in the middle of the desert. I came to learn that it was called Flats Lagoon.
But at the time, what interested me the most was not the name of the town or any of the people. It was to finally get something I desperately needed. A backpack. To that end, I needed even more money. The Hivers gave me a decent number of cats for the dead bandit loot I managed to carry with my limbless torso, but that was just barely enough to get me some shoddy, makeshift limbs. To get a decently crafted backpack would be a good deal more expensive, so I took up a job in town on a turret. I never operated one before, but they hired me all the same. I guess help was short-handed in these parts. Big surprise. Later that same night, we had our first hostile. Another one of those... beak things. I guess that's what they're called. With the help of the guard, it was torn to pieces. And, as the newbie, I was given the honor of bringing it to be sold for parts. That one creature managed to buy me my backpack. Talk about a lucky break. That's what you get for murdering innocent goats, you long neck fuckers. That night, I contemplated what I wanted to do with my existence. I knew I had an enemy, but I also knew I was in no way prepared to face them. I would need better limbs, better equipment, and battle experience to defeat such an overwhelming foe. I would also need allies, mayhaps, even, friends, in this barren world. But for a start, I needed protection. Safety in numbers holds especially true when you're weak and recovering from being a limbless lump of metal. So the following morning, I began to travel with another less pushy group of hivers. I cared not where they went, just that I was moving towards opportunity. Little did I know how magical this little band of stick people would prove to be. never seen a beast so magnificent. It towered above me, and could very well eat the entire Hiver caravan whole. I continued walking with them, expecting them to keep their distance. strength, or lack thereof, I did the best possible thing. I ran, or rather walked away, and watched from a distance as the caravan surrounded the leviathan beast. I very much expected to watch as my previous travel companions died one by one, squished underfoot, but it would seem they were lucky. It would seem that the beast was a dumbass. Hiver spears and Garo headbutts slowly but surely bloodied the beast. And just when I thought it might screw its brain back in right and attack back, it just collapsed. Now that this massive threat was gone, 
the haggers just lost interest. They didn't look to check the corpse of the would-be predator, and so I packed up instead. Inside its gut, I found a strange sphere. A pearl of a sort. This ought to be worth a lot of money. And help me truly begin my journey. Bye-bye!